uh, pretend to be the part or you can be the part. I'd rather be the part. You're not going to catch me in a Ferrari. No one's going to be able to get the assets if they don't know how. If you're grateful, you're going to suffer from little to nothing. If you're ungrateful, man, your millions of people are paying for something when they don't have to. In many cases, they don't have to anymore. If you want your relationships to be better, your physical to be better, or your finances to be better, or, your, or if you're part of your... Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Frank Kinigas. I am the ambassador of reading. And today's topic is the end of 2022, the beginning of 2023. And I'm going to start it out by sharing that today, December 20th, 2022, I finished walking my last five miles that I committed myself to in walking in 2022. I committed 600 miles and today I did my last five miles of that. And people are going to commit this year always millions from around the world. They promise to jog or exercise or eat healthier or whatever it is. And, and I think one of the big mistakes is that they don't write it down or they don't keep track or they don't do the action. And I know that last year I committed to 500 miles and I felt like, oh, well, I can do 600. I think I can. So let me go for 600. I did find it a little challenging. I'm not going to commit to 700 miles next year. 2023, I'm not. Maybe 620, 630, I don't know. But I'm not going to go that high. I'm very grateful that this year I kept track. I was able to walk. Give me the gift of walking and thinking. Uh, two to three, sometimes four times a day. Uh, four times a week. I'm sorry about that. Four times a week. So it gave me time to think. And it gave me time to jot down what I was doing. And, and for you, 2023, what do you want to create? What do you want to do? If you write it down and po post it on the wall and not just post it on the wall and wait for the time to elapse and, and think that you're going to get there, no. You have to do the, take the action. I knew that I had to walk minimum three times a week and keep it steady to do my 600 miles. And sometimes I would walk two times, but then the following week I would walk four times or five times. And I just kept track what did I do the first month? Uh, 50 miles. What did I do the second uh, month? Maybe 60. I, I'm, I don't remember the exact numbers, but I kept track. So whenever I finished January, and then I, I posted the number at the top, and then I waited for February, and then I put it on the bottom, I added, and then so on and so forth. Today, I'm super excited. I did finish the 600 miles, but never mind me. What about you? What are you going to do? What are you going to create? What do you want to do? Um, like I said, if you post it on the wall and take action and make note of it, what did I, what did I say I was going to do? Also, the word, keeping your word. My mom was very wise, I think. And I think parents, man, older parents, they had so much information and they were so wise, so smart. She said, keep your word, keep your word. And I, I remember asking her, Am I always, are we always going to keep our word? She said, no, you're not always going to keep your word. It's really it's really hard it's almost impossible but do keep your word most of the time if you keep your word most of the time you're going to see how your life is going to be different versus others that don't keep their word so i kept that in mind and it makes a lot of sense now i'm 58 years old and i and i think of what happened in her lessons and she was right if you keep your word to you and and you keep track of what you said you were going to do you're going to notice that chances are you're going to like your life but if you don't keep your word, you don't keep track, you don't know where you're going, you don't want to know, you don't know what you want to accomplish, well, chances are you're not going to like your life. And there's always challenges. Life brings challenges. Uh, there's, one, there's one thing that I learned at that one seminar that I always mention, PSI, to think is to create thoughts. If you're not in awareness of your thoughts, if you're not in awareness of what you're putting in there, what you are allowing, what you are allowing to come into your brain, it could deviate you from where you need to go. So be in awareness. This year, 2023, uh, make it a good one. Make it a great one. Also, uh, Christmas, it, it's gratitude. And, and maybe reach out to somebody you haven't reached out to, an old friend, or maybe make a phone call to your mom or dad or brother or sister and reach out and think of gratitude. Maybe say thank you for being around or thank you for being my friend or talking to me or whatever it is, but it's gratitude. Um, very well. Uh, let's welcome 2023. We're going to do things a little bit different. The team and I are talking already. 
and we're hoping to bring you great content, great information, great information. And may uh, we want to thank you for supporting us. Thank you for sharing, putting the like, writing all those comments, giving suggestions. Thank you for all your suggestions. Thank you so much. We're going to work on it. 2023, we hope, no, not hope, we will see it different. And we're going to continue to grow. Thanks to you. Thank you very much. Keep on sharing. Very well. Till next time, your friend, the ambassador of reading, wishing you well today and always, knowing that you will find and get what you are looking for. Thank you for watching our channel and congratulations for making it here where we give information that benefits the individual that's watching and their loved ones. I invite you to subscribe and be part of our channel. Set the notifications and watch the new videos. Thank you and welcome.